Hello everyone. Welcome to Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel. All right, so uh, today also I took a new lesson. Uh, this lesson is uh, regarding AT Chapter 27, Flight Controls. So this is the lesson number two. So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about uh, fly-by-wire philosophy, um, general uh, introduction, okay? All right, so uh, uh, if you are new to this YouTube channel, I'm Keshar Vikram Singh. I'm a professional aircraft maintenance technician and uh, please subscribe this youtube channel and please share these videos with your friends relatives and anyone who likes to learn about aircraft maintenance engineering so uh yeah so no need to talk a lot so let's go to the lesson All right, so this is the lesson 88 chapter 27 flight controls general lesson number two fly by wire philosophy right all right so let's go to the lesson so uh these are the lesson content uh, general and uh, the control column and the mechanical linkage uh, ap servo autopilot servo artificial field servo actuator and cws it means control wheel steering function right Okay, let's go to the first one, uh, the general. Okay, you can see uh, this is the uh, uh, normal control column and this is the side stick, right? So, all flight control surfaces, all side control surfaces are now electrically controlled and hydraulically operated. Okay, before it is manually controlled, okay, and now it is electrically controlled and hydraulically operated. In addition, the stabilizer and the rudder have a hydro mechanical backup in case of electrical failure okay just remember so the main advantage of this philosophy the main advantage of this philosophy is an improvement of the redundancy in handling uh, qualities in weight saving and thus in performance okay you can see this is the manual here is the control column here is the push pull rods over the this is autopilot here is the cables over there right there are tension regulators that rod right here is the uh, feeler gauge i will be talking about after later so this is the spring rods okay this fd10 bell crank okay here is the surface servo uh, control valve okay so this is the uh, electrically control way so these are side sticks the electrical signal the command will go to the computer right the autopilot computer's command will go to the computer and then the computer uh, send orders to the servo control actuator so because of this these kind of things the uh, mainly uh, the weight weight will be saved because so many uh, components will be uh, removed uh, yeah all right okay so now let's go to the uh, control column okay here is the control column right here the control column has been replaced by the side stick before it is not the side sticks now it's the side stick right so here is the side stick the control column has been replaced by the side stick and now the mechanical uh, linkage mechanical linkage you can see in before the mechanical linkage here push pull gauge rods there are uh, each components are linked with mechanical but now uh, this mechanical channel is replaced by electrical wiring and computers okay remember now before it is electrically uh, mechanically linked but now it is not mechanical link now it is electrically uh, linked by uh, wiring and computers so these computers control the servo actuators. so these computers will control the servo actuators so the computers elaborate the flight control laws including flight envelope protection with optimize the control of the aircraft okay all right so these are the flight control uh, computers okay so, uh, design the avionics rack Okay, so uh, you can see uh, before the mechanical uh, linkage, you get push pull rods, tension regulators, cables, spring rods, FD10 bell crank, uncoupling units. Okay, so these everything we will uh, now it the uh, these are will be replaced for uh, computerized. So you see the uh, only computer ordered, right? So the weight saving will be there. So it is an advantage. And now the autopilot serve. Right here, the autopilot server. Here is the autopilot server. Now the autopilot computer. So the autopilot commands are directly transmitted to the computers. Right before the autopilot commands will come here, okay, like this. But now the autopilot commands are directly transmitted to the computers. Okay, is going by the arring uh, signals. Right, autopilot com computed commands. Okay, 
right so these are the uh, autopilot computers right okay now the artificial feet artificial feet here is the artificial feel right so the modulated artificial feel is replaced by the size stick centering spring right the modulated artificial feel is replaced by the size stick centering spring okay in in later modules okay in lesson 7 8 like this uh, under 80 chapter 27 i will discuss about the artificial uh, centering spring how it is work okay so this is the uh, general knowledge for you so the modulated artificial field is replaced by the size stick centering spring you can see okay now the servo actuators here is the servo actuator right here is the servo actuator you can see the servo actuator so well over there and this is the filter and this is the maintenance override over there right so the mechanical feedback of the convectional servo actuator right the mechanical feedback of the convectional servo actuator this is the convectional servo actuator is replaced by an electrical feedback to the computer okay this is the convectional servo actuator so the mechanic it uh, in here the mechanical feedback will go there but now the servo actuator is replaced by the electrical feedback to the computer now the electrical feedback will go right electrical uh, feed aircraft response electrical feedback will go it is changed all right okay now the cws function the control wheel steering right the control wheel steering cws here the cws function is ensured by the computer which use the aircraft response to maintain the acquired altitude okay the control wheel steering cws function is insured ensured to by the computer which use the aircraft response to maintain the required altitude all right okay yeah uh, that is the end of this lesson so i think you got a knowledge of the basic knowledge about uh, fly by fire so in future lessons i will uh, teach you in detail about the fly by wire uh, each and every component all right so uh, thank you for participating in this lesson so i think uh, you got a good knowledge so next lessons uh, you can join and you can uh, learn about 80 chapter 27 well so please uh, share this video with your friends uh, relatives and anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance uh yeah so uh we will stop the lessons for today and we will meet on next lesson have a good day for all of you